everyone, it's Tammy from Tammy Colors 2, and I'm here with my March 2023 haul. Is this the second one? I know I did a haul with some Lyrica books, um, but uh, so this is what I got in March. Um, just picked up a few books and some supplies and spot bears on top, yay! So let me clear this off and we will go through what I found. Okay, so I'm going to start with the books, because uh, I usually, you know, I'm just switching things up. And I'm doing them in a certain order, because I have things organized, I think, maybe. Um, so, to switch it up, I'm going to show you three books that I'm probably returning um, for reasons, and I will explain why. So the first one is Woodland Kingdom Coloring Book by Toshiyuki Fukuda. Um, now this is a beautiful book and to be fair I I like it I think. Um, I saw it on Coloring with Maya and you know I have had it for a couple of weeks and I keep I'm on the fence because I like it but I can't decide if I will ever actually color it. Um, because it is a really neat book. Um, it's not that I hate it. I, I like some of these. I just can't. Um, this is really hard for my brain to, to deal with. And that's partly why I want to keep it. Because I don't have things like this. But um, it is a $20 book. I did get it from Amazon, US. Um, so I'm like, am I actually gonna color it? Like, mm, I don't like that. Those are not my kind of images. <laughs> this is a little weird, but it's cute. Um, I mean, I can tell you how I feel about all kinds of images. I, I would love to color this. I just don't know if I will. And I know it looks like, um, if you look at it, it looks like the images were blown up. And I mean, I think they were, but I mean, this is her art style, it looks like. Her, him, Toshiyuki, I don't know if it's a male or a female, but um, when you look at it, I mean, that's their art style, which is really kind of neat. And I just can't decide, am I creative enough to deal with this kind of art? Because it's really busy, and I already um, <laughs> shy away from Angela Porter and... But I, even though I have their books, I love them. So I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, I don't want to take forever. If, I don't know. I can do a flip through if you want. Um, I'm still not sure. Let me know. If y'all want to see it, I'll flip it. I like it. I'm just not sure I'll ever color it. Because <laughs> I don't think my brain can handle it. But I do like it. Like, it's cool. But I just don't know what to do with abstract. I'm not an abstract person and it is not strictly abstract but to me it's abstract ish I mean I saw coloring with Maya she colored this and and it was awesome and I thought oh yeah and I do I love the book I just can't figure out what I want to do with it <laughs> so there's that uh the next one I got that I'm returning is Easter Garden and it is beautiful. Um, it's an Easter egg coloring book for adults. Um, I forget, L Lily Douglas. And, um, um, I mean, it is AI, I'm pretty sure. And I just wasn't sure, it was really detailed. I mean, very, very detailed, too detailed for me. I mean, I kept thinking some of them might be fun. I just don't know, I don't know. So I'm returning this one, even though it's really pretty. And then, um, oh, I got this one and I'm on the fence about this one and this is why. So um, I saw this, came across it, Simplicity, a minimalist coloring book for relaxation and mindfulness. And I haven't done a flip on it cause I'm not, I haven't decided if I'm keeping it. Um, and I love 
love 95% of the images in it. But one of them uses the F word. And I mean, all the images, they're, they're like this, you know, and it has these beautiful little things like you will board my boat, sail across the sea and restore your inner peace. I mean, there's all kinds of cool trust that an ending is followed by a beginning. I mean, I love these pictures. And that's a little weird for me, but I would color it. But that's all about affirmations and, um, yeah, garbage. I get it. <laughs> well, some of it's a little strange. But, um, you know, I just, I love them. But there's a fortune cookie here on this page. And it says, you are, and then it has an F word. And that's the fortune. And it says, thanks for your brutal honesty. And I'm like, I have no books with cuss words. And there is a reason. So, <clears throat> Um, I don't know, because I really, really like some of these pictures. Or like, I like most of the pictures. That's the sad part. This is a little weird. Um, at first I wasn't sure how to take it. Um, do they want you to take pills to be okay? I'm not really sure. <laughs> but, um, anyway, so I just, uh, why did they have to put that in? So, um, but other than that, they're just fabulous. I just, I love it. It's amazing. You know, this, you're supposed to decorate your own balloons or these two balloons yourself. So I thought, well, I can keep it and then I can just cut that one page out. I mean, not that I'm offended. Do I cuss? Yes. Do I use the F word? No, definitely not. There are words that I will not use. I try not to use any of them. My parents never cussed any. Do you want to know the truth? Um, but being around people, you just start repeating it. And it's really hard. Um, so anyway, so those are the ones I'm returning. Um, but like I said, if you really want to see a flip of them, let me know. I'm still on the fence. I don't know if I'm, I just, let me know what y'all think, you know? Um, uh, it just it sucks because I really like that simplicity book all right so all right now the stuff that let's do some awesomeness that I got so I did a swap with my friend Dory from coffee lover underscore five she's doing book swaps um she she's always got something she really likes to do swaps so um check out our channel. I will link it in the description. So she had these two Coloring Heaven magazines that she didn't want and I offered to swap her a few books that I had duplicates of. <laughs> I, so um, I, uh, which was really, really nice. It worked out really well. I, I like these a lot. Um, this is the fantasy special. I can't remember what month this came out. Mm, does it say? Nope. It wasn't too long ago, but it's all um, Selena Finnick. And it's got a little bit of all of her art in here. There are tons of flips on this. I remember when it came out. Um, so, we'll see. I might have some of these pictures because I do have some of her books, but then again, I might not. I like that looks like a Skeksis. Doesn't that look like a Skeksis? But I know it's not because it's a Dragonborn. Um, and if you're familiar, then you know. But so, yeah. Anyway, that is super cool. And then Christmas Gnomes was another thing she was getting rid of. So this is Mary Old Budak and um, I think this one is this one Chet? I don't remember who this one is. It might be Chetman. Or no, this one's Chet. Chetman. So I don't know who, because it didn't list the other ones. Ava Brown is in here. Oh, these are the Ava Brown ones. Um, and then these are the Mariola Budek. Who's the other artist then? I know Chet. Huh. 
but her her gnomes are really cute. Anyway, I'm spending too long on this. It's gonna be a long video if I keep this up. Next, um, and I did a separate, I'm still working on getting flips of these up, but I did a separate um, video of my um, Lyrica haul. So I ordered like six books from Lyrica. They came, I was all excited. This one is Nature, which I was trying to do a flip of this. And you know, when you try and try and things just keep happening. So that's coming. There will be a flip of this. Not sure, and it's uh, an art therapy book, and it is by Diane Dufour. So, um, when there's a flip through, actually in my um, haul, I think I linked all of these books to Lyrica, by the way. Um, I can link that video in the description, since I don't have the separate flips of these. Amazon, which is the brand new Paul Brune book. I know there is a flip of this one up. Um, he's a French artist, and his art is just gorgeous. Right. Next, I got this color by number. Um, these are like the kids' version of the Coloriage Mystere. They're much simpler and awesome double-sided also. So that is in the haul. I got Vitrol, which is stained glass. And it is just, I love this one. I really, 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 really wanted this one. So I got Vitrol. And then I got Forêt Fierique, which is uh, forest fairies so this was super cool a lot of Pocahontas in here and Jungle Book I noticed Winnie the Pooh there's a little bit of everything but that was really cool got that from Lyrica also and my last thing from my Lyrica order is Visavage and then that is just cool beautiful there's even some Rhea in here and some old old school Mickey and Goofy and so I am going to put flips of those up I just need to get there I was having some really bad luck so that was my Lyrica haul then I just got some random books I picked up the <clears throat> first lighthearted mandalas um, book by snickerdoodling she has a second one out so these are really cute. I had never gotten this, but I wanted to, to try it out. So I got Light Handed Light Hearted Mandalas. Volume one is what this is. Um, then I got Kuai Animal Coloring Book um, by Lauren Kay. And this is adorable. There is a flip of this on my channel. These are so cute. Like, oh my gosh, the cuteness. So that was awesome. And I got 50 Eastern Spring Fairy Houses by Camille Angelkova. Adorable spring fairy houses. Oh my gosh. Love it. There is a flip of this on my channel as well. Uh, then you will see I got Catapult Your Creativity, color by number, which is a... I found this by accident and... Um, it is a random, I mean, random find, but there are some scary color palettes in here. <laughs> so, I mean, I kind of figured that from the pictures I saw online, but I thought, oh, I'm going to get it anyway, and then I'm going to see if it can really turn out as awesome as this. Uh, there is a flip of that on my channel also. I've been in the mood for some faith-based coloring books because I don't, I only have a couple, and they're, I have some Deborah Muller ones that I was collecting, um, the posh ones, and then I have a couple of Creative Havens, but I wanted another one in my collection, and this one is really pretty. I know I did not do a flip, I should, but, um, I really, I really like the pictures in this one, so I picked it up. I got it from Meyer, but you can get it on Amazon, too, <clears throat> for the beauty of the earth. 
I don't, Ink and Willow. It's by an actual publisher. It came out in 2022. Oh, does it have an artist? Book design by, book design by. Hmm. Taken from, scriptures are taken from the Holy Bible, New International Version. Copyright 1973, 1978, 1984, and 2011. So if you're curious about that, I always look to see what versions of the Bible they're using for the references. Um, then I got this one. Mystery Mosaic, color by number, Sea Creatures. This is by, oh, do I forget? I have Sunny Publishing. And this just looks so cute. I love these. I mean, there's really nothing to show you. It doesn't have an answer key. It's just, um, what are these? Three by three millimeter? Or four by four? I can't remember. But it's, uh, not, not teeny tiny. But this is, like, awesome. Can't wait to try one of those. I also got, um, Insect by, uh, Color Art Books. Uh, AJ Quinnell, and this one is super cool looking. This looks amazing. I can't wait to see what one of the, you know, I can't wait to do one of these. I don't think I did a flip. Did I do a flip of this? Maybe. I'm starting to forget. And the last book I got uh, was another one by Lauren Kay, and I have not done a flip of this because it's 101 pages. <laughs> so, um, but this is all just beautiful, relaxing pictures. Lauren Kay did the kawaii animals that I just showed you, and these are really cute. So I'm liking the Lauren Kay art. I can do a flip of this. I, I may do one anyway, but if anybody really wants to see one, I can do one. So I would be happy to. And that is 101 Relaxing Coloring Book by Lauren Kay. Really nice images. All right. So, oh, nope, there is one more. It's tiny. Tiny, tiny. So these are like three by four cards or something like that. I mean, these are small. And they are little blessings cards. So they are like, I forget, I measured them. They're like two and three quarters. Uh, I think they're like three by... No, they're not three by four. They're actually smaller. Oh, it doesn't say. Here, I'll just measure them for you. Because now I'm going to be curious. So they are two and three quarters by four and a quarter. So that gives you an idea of how big they are. Um, but they're cards with all these inspirational quotes and pictures. And I thought it would be fun to do these and stick them in cards that I send to people. I really liked the images that I saw on them. And it comes in this really cute box, you know, so you can just, you can do them for yourself. But they come in this really nice box to store them in. And I pulled them out, I swear I can get them back in. <laughs> there we go. So. Colorful blessings, colorful messages to bless a heart, soothe the soul, and calm the mind. So if anybody is interested in that, let me know. I can give you the link. I got them on Amazon. Amazon US. Now, let's see the supplies. So, I gotta stop watching other people's channels. I'm just telling you. Because <laughs> I find something. So again, if it's not coloring, coloring with Maya, or colored by Maya, um... Then it's Jamie's Coloring Love. And she was doing her pencil collection. <laughs> I can't even watch a pencil collection video. And um, she had this little Crayola box that she had some pencils in. And I'm like, oh, that would be perfect. Um, so uh, it's like, there. I got them on Amazon. They are by <laughs> the Tin Box Company, which I think is amazing. It's got a little handle. And, uh, thing, and I wanted it to put my um, Crayola Twistables. So this is uh, the largest set of Crayola Twistables. It's like 50, I think it is. Um, 
So they are all in there. And you close the lid. So I got the Crayola one. I also got this one because this is super cute. They had like several different um, styles. They came in a, they were wrapped, packaged very well so they didn't get dented. But yeah, that's the, that's the cute box. I just love them. I don't know what I'm going to put in here yet, but something cool. <laughs> I just had to, I love, I love little pin boxes like that. So that's cool. Then uh, Color by Maya went to Michael's and she got the um, Perlite Glitter Glue. And I didn't realize that they had such a big selection and it's super cheap. And um, it was like $6 for this. <laughs> so it's these little tubes. Oh, it comes with a tray. So I'll just pull those out. So there are 12, or no, 15. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, 15 in here. And uh, it's like, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, liquid pearls. So I really like those. And then it looks like they have a set of glitter glue that is um, basically the same, except, I don't know, um, but they didn't have it. So... I couldn't get it. So we'll see. I don't know. I might. So I bought a small one to see. All right. So next, uh, Colored by Maya got these at Michael's. And so I was at Michael's and I decided to look for them. And uh, they are Creatology Pearlized Glitter Glue Pens. So they're kind of like... Um, liquid pearls and there's 15 colors in here for six dollars I believe it was so I'm gonna try those out um I did put some on a sticky note when I first got them and they seem pretty nice I mean they seem really comparable I mean I'm sure it's not liquid pearls um but hey Aren't those awesome? Those are awesome colors. And then it looks like they it looks like they're supposed to have a set of glitter glue that's the same that's a big one like this, but they didn't have it. So I got a small set of the glitter glue pens, which they've got the small six packs, like in different colors. So I got this one, which is the what are these? The neon colors. I can't remember, but they're, they remind me of Crayola um, glitter glue pens, if you've ever had any of these, only only bigger. So I don't know if the glitter glue in here is cool. It's I will guarantee you it's probably not even close to being stickles, but it might be useful. Sometimes it's not as great, but then again, you don't always need something as cool as stickles on your stuff. So that was that. Then... Um, is that all? Oh, no, that's not all. Um, so I was at the Dollar Tree and we were in there for something else and I decided to look at the pens. And so these are zebra, um, gel pens. Now I haven't opened them, obviously, but zebra's cool, right? So it's a gel pen. So I'm going to see... Um, do I have something to write on? <laughs> I, maybe. All right. So let's see. We'll just zoom this in and we'll play with it for a minute. Ooh, wow. I didn't even... Oh, those are nice. I like the smoothness. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I like these. These are like a metallic... Okay, so I'm curious. The only thing is, you can't consistently get things at Dollar Tree. <laughs> at least in my experience. I want to see the gold. Let's see. Let's do this. I want to see if the gold is decent. Oh, you know, not bad. I'm liking the gold. 
They're very light. It's a zebra pen. Zebra Doodler. Which I have never had any of. So here's the silver. So that's sweet. I mean, they are metallic-y. Look at that. So cool beans. Like that. Um, if you want to see the... Here, we can just... Uh, maybe. Got into the other one so easy. This is like a fuchsia color. Oh, pink. Oh, that's the first one. It's gotten... So that's like a pink. And then this one is like a light blue color. So, yeah. If you like metallic gel pens... Those are some nice colors for a dollar twenty-five. Okay, I'll take it. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get me a second set of these if I can find them again. <laughs> it's always the rub. All right. So last but not least, let me get rid of these. Um, I did get the um. Well, let me. I got the fantasy box from Deborah Muller which has this ridiculously cute tote bag. A woman cannot survive on coloring books alone. She also needs dragons. I'm going to fill it with dragons and post it on, De on the Deborah Muller coloring group Facebook page. I intend to do that. So um, in the box, because she does these boxes every once in a while and she sells them uh, in her coloring group Facebook page. So, you know, check it out. So it has... Um, Oh, look how cute those are. Some a thing of watercolors that she puts in here, and those are the watercolors. And now I'm afraid that I'm going to love her watercolors. So that was really cool. I wanted to try them out for a while. Um, there was a wood um, fairy. Elf. Might be an elf. Um, she did a dragonette's book. Little tiny dragons. This was exclusive to the box. She did fairy scapes, which is very cute. I love that. And then she did some prints, which I they came in this folder, and I went ahead and stuck them all in there. She did some on lilac which are here, which it's interesting. I've never um, done anything on this color paper. And then there's some on this cream colored paper. Very cool prints. I'm scared to do them. And then there's this it's almost like recycled paper or tan tone. Do they call that tan tone paper? I've never done coloring on um, not white paper. So mm, that's pretty. There's that and that and this. It's very smooth. And then this one. And this is a very large image, a, dream, a dragon on a dream catcher. So that was really cool for the Deborah Muller fantasy box. Join her Facebook page. She usually does fairy boxes. Um, she does a Halloween box, a Christmas box. So if you're interested, um, join the Facebook group, which I can link in the description if you don't know about it. And then... So I had to show you this ridiculously cute thing that I bought only because I wanted the bag, but it is cute. And if you have kids or if you're an adult who just likes cute little things. <laughs> so um, it came in this box. Oh, here. Variety of cartoon DIY art supplies. So, <laughs> but um, it is, and you'll see why when you get to the bottom of the box. So it has fruit scented markers. And then we've got crayons. I don't think they're fruit scented. Look at that. Look at the, the holographic. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Then there are unicorn stickers. This is 
a really cute box. Then there are colored pencils also. Look at the cuteness of that. Oh, wait. Okay. Hang on. Let me pull one out. Oh, they've got little animals on them. <laughs> That's adorable. Um, are these professional art supplies? No. Then you've got some paints. Then you've got some other markers, fruit scented markers. And then you've got some fruit scented gel pens. <laughs> and then you've got some glitter glue. And then you get to the reason I bought the whole thing was this bag. Because all that stuff comes with this unicorn bag. And I don't know if I can accurately show you, but it's got these one, two, three, four pockets that have zippers. And you put the stuff in them. And I will link it in the description. So I could, I thought, okay, so I have to get this to put some kind of like maybe I'll put glitter gel pens in it and carry them around I don't know I think glitter gel pens would be nice um so but it it's stiff because they put it they flatten it and put it in the box but it's got velcro like right here and so it's supposed to go in like a and I really need to work to get it into shape um, it wasn't expensive. It was under 20 bucks. Um, and you get this cute little bag and it was completely frivolous and unnecessary. Um, I am a little impressed with the amount of supplies that I got. Um, but yeah, I liked the unicorn. I thought that was super cute. I mean, it's sparkly. I mean, come on. <laughs> So, I know they have a couple different models out there, um, but I will link this in the description if anybody is interested. Um, I'll have to see about these art supplies. I'm really interested if the gel pens smell. But, you know, I am not disappointed. So, we'll see if they're all scented. Anyway, with that, um, I will let you go. Thanks for watching. It has been far too long already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this video has gone on forever. Um, but that is my haul for March of 2023. I hope y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. And let me know in the comments if there's anything you like, if I didn't answer a question, because I know I go kind of fast sometimes. I don't think to answer everything. Um, that's just the nature of me. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.